Oh hi guys, Skyxion9 here, and this is Let's Replay Lego Indiana Jones. In the last episode, we got through Chapter 5, Desert Ambush, and broke the game. And in this episode, we're going to be dealing with the final free play, the entire level. Or, I mean, entire game, rather. <laughs> uh, Temple of the Grail. Let's get it over with. So yeah, after this, free play mode's going to be done. We're going to have all the artifacts, all true... Well, we already have all true adventures. But we'll also have all the parcels. So that means we can finally move on to the extras. Also, excuse me while I blow up these trucks. Because you, you don't want to just hit the poles this time. You actually want to blow up the trucks. Because one drops the mailbox. So that's very important. And the other just... You know, it's just studs. But, uh... Anyways, what you want to do is, the first off, to go to the back of the screen, because there's a diggable spot here. <coughs> and you can see another art an artifact already over there, but here's the parcel. So let's go ahead and get this off to the mailbox. Let's get some studs while we're at it, too. Pad up our wallet a little bit. Alright, but what we need to do is, we need to free these horses. So we need to do this, get the key. <coughs> Sorry, I've been recording for a while. My voice is starting to go. Oh, after only three videos, it's kind of concerning. But, uh, anyways, uh, let's get the boost stud and then let's get our horsey friend. I like the horses. I always like the Lego horses. They're kind of cute. There we go. And a purple stud. Sweet. Alright, but, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and, uh, get this, uh, temple open. Because we're pretty much done with the outside of here. Also, Indy's getting himself killed by the fire. Alright, so let's build that. And of course, since this is the last level of the Last Crusade, we have to deal with all those, uh... I can't get that blue stud. Whatever. We have to deal with a bunch of, uh, book puzzles. And we have the Grail Knight, too. Huh. We do actually need them though, because there are uh, there is like one puzzle where we have to throw swords, and the Grail Knight sword does count as one of those swords. So, anyways, if there's the first one, can I sneak under here? No. All right. No. Yeah. Yeah. Just gotta get this. I don't know why they do two. Two seems kind of unnecessary. Also, that was pretty cool. Also, Andy, can you stop dying with that truck and, you know, get over here? Oh, don't don't you start dying now. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on. Jeez, I have to do everything by myself? Alright, blue stud. Blue stud. I already at 305,000. That's pretty significant. Uh, date, 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 date. Alright, so... Uh, let's see... Okay, we have to go into this room. Because there should be a Thuggy statue in here somewhere. There you are. Alright. Then we did- then we build this. This seems kinda silly. What now? Oh, it's an artifact, okay. It seems kinda pointless, huh? Also, I needed to get that torch. Oops. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I bet a lot of quarterbacks wish they could do that. They probably can. What am I who am I kidding? Uh, Alright, so all we really have to do now is just get this set up. That just seems like a... <laughs> It's a really silly artifact. It's just like, hey, there's a picture of an artifact. Don't you wish you had it? Well, okay, here you go. Just brace through. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. I apologize. That sounded like inco incoherent babbling. Also, why am I sidling? There's no need to be sidling. Do -do. Do. There we go. Alright, now the fun part begins. Having to do with these things. And more book puzzles. And, uh, <laughs> Senior's actually doing it. How appropriate. 
Well, technically it was his blood. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, get past all this stuff. So here's a, uh, a shaft. So let's go ahead and get our uh, Maharaja, who's already out, conveniently. And that will open up this door and should lead to yet another artifact. Which is underneath this thing. So, you think you could just jump in, but no, you gotta get on the other side of this. And there you go. So, 3 out of 10. So, the fourth one is a real douche of a one, because, yeah, it's between these blades. Yeah, pretty much expect to die. I mean, there's... You have to be really lucky to get that artifact without dying, so... But, I mean... If you already have true adventurer, then it really doesn't matter, so... Yeah. Yep. Nope, no wait, not yet. Okay. Oh, what?! Okay. Not sure how that counted. Oh, oh, what the hell?! Alright, can I do this properly this time? Alright, thank you. I don't know why I was having trouble with that. Also, we have definitely Indy. I was kind of hoping we had regular Indy. Or at least dinner suit. Uh, dig dig. Dig. Oh, we have to do that anyways, right. I keep forgetting. Yeah, we have Sala during this level, I think. Alright. Anyways, let's go ahead and over here. And yeah, over here is actually the artifact that I was just talking about with the Grail Knight. So let's get him out and get him to throw that sword. So we're halfway there. Well, technically over halfway since we've already mailed the parcel, but yeah, now we have to get this part out. Nope. Oh, no, I didn't tell you to let go. Uh, so excruciatingly long. Come on. There we go. I wish there was a way I could speed this up. I, I wish they had a parcel that could speed things up. Like, just for your characters. Just make them super fast or whatnot. Though that would probably be a little bit strange for the game. I mean... All this seems uh, appropriate and stuff, like when you're going through in the story mode, but when you're going through free play mode, it's just kind of a hindrance more than anything. Uh, anyways, next one, uh, another shaft. Gotta go in here. He's just up here. And then this is gonna both raise this little staircase over here, as well as up those bars, which allows us to get to this next artifact. Alright. So, 6 out of 10. We're getting there, guys. What are we on time-wise? Eight, eight, 8 minutes. Okay. We're, we're doing alright, I guess. Let's go ahead and get this pu pu puzzle out of the way. Oh, right. I have to do that thing. I was expecting an artifact. I don't know why. Alright, let's put this in here. Alright, oh, a key. <sighs> Some of this just seems a little bit unnecessary, but eh, that's just how games are designed. Well, that's how ancient traps are designed, I suppose. Alright, now this one can be a really annoying one as well, because it's going to activate these things, but the thing is that they only stay out for like very short periods of time. So you have to be both a little bit quick and a little bit lucky. Okay, now there we go. All right, artifact seven. So yeah, that could that one can be a little bit. Oh, jeez, let's try to get the purple stud. Uh, and then I jump right over it. There we go. Okay, and I didn't die either. That's good news. But yeah, that one can be a little bit annoying to get. Just uh, keep persevering and you should be able to get that one. Alright, uh, switch to someone other than Indy so we can actually get across. There we go. And we actually need Indy for this next part. 
See, I kind of like this level because they definitely do spread out the uh, artifacts quite a bit. Uh, kind of like the Hunt for Sir Richard. And then again, the Hunt for Sir Richard has a lot of space that they can put stuff in, but this one really does a good job of spreading the um, artifacts kind of evenly. Because there's only like two or three per room, so... Although some have had only one so far, so... Anyways, let's go ahead and get past this puzzle real quick. Here, I'm not gonna... <laughs> I don't know if I really should even bother with jumping. All this is just gonna go away anyways. Oh, here. Yeah. It'd probably be easier if I just hurried and jumped before all the pieces fell away. Um, anyways, there's a bunch of metal teeth to blow them up with the metal explodey guy. And there's artifact number eight. Man, this is stuck over there. Alright, so... Artifact number nine is gonna be right over here. All you have to do is just whip this out, out of the place. And there you go. Simple as that. So let's go ahead and over here. And we need to get uh, the the 10th one is um, at the very end before the Grail Knight, so... Let's go ahead and get that path set up. And just, you can see like the power of the, uh, the, the multipliers. Like, we've almost hit 1 million studs just on this one level alone. Just because of an 8 times multiplier. I mean, it, it really, the numbers really do add up. But uh, what we need to do is, I forgot to get a torch, so let's go ahead and pick up a torch. Because you can't solve the book puzzle over there because it's actually too dark right now. So we need, uh, like, just like that one next to the Thuggy statue, so we gotta bring this torch and bring it all the way over. Alright, and there we go. And so now the little light will pop up, which means we can now solve this. So final artifact of the game, guys! Doot, 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 doot. And there we go! We are officially done with everything! Let's go ahead and save and exit. There's our achievement for getting all the parcels. The final parcel, Invincibility! Obviously you can't die. And then this, this is history. That's for getting all the artifacts in the game. And let's see what the final artifact constructs. I believe it constructs one of the fake grails. Yeah, one of the fake grails. And of course, we get, we, we get to enjoy the times 8 multiplier for at least one level. Get to have, enjoy that bonus for at least one time. But anyways, now that we're done with that, I want to do uh, go ahead and do one more thing before we end off the video. Because now that we're done with everything, we have to unlock the extra levels. And you can see we have 180, 18, and 18. So we've officially gotten 100% of the items in the game. So what we want to do is we want to go all the way over to this room back here. The bottom right one. Which is in his office. Here, there are a couple of things that we have to do. Uh, basically, a, a bunch of s puzzles that we have to solve. Let's go ahead and get this uh, book one out of the way. But there are essentially five treasure chests that we need to locate and put in the center of the room. So here's number one. You can kind of see number two up there that we have to re reach with a high jumper. Which just so have to be here. Alright, uh... Let's get our explody guy to blow up the glass thing. And... Get our thuggy guy to activate this. Get our high jumper to get this other treasure chest out. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's get this third one. Then the fourth one. Oh, we need a short character. Oh, oh, dang, he just left. Alright, let's just blow this up, I guess, instead. Oh, we need a digger now. Oh, and he's back, okay. Let's get our safe child to get this real quick. Alright, so here's treasure chest number four. And then the fifth one's just gonna be underneath that big spot. So, let's get Sala. Turns for one last time. 
All right, so now that we have all five treasure chests, we can start this little panel in the uh, in the center, and it reveals a key. So we need this key. We need to take it, take it all the way to the very back. Well, the very f well, uh, I guess that was the, de the very front that we were just in. So here's the very back. There's a room over here that we can go into. This is the artifact room, where, where all the artifacts that we've been collecting have gone. As you can see, there are various lights, but... As you can see, we've gotten all 18 of them. As blue, yellow, and red, signifying that we've unlocked certain levels. All we have to do is take this key, go to the very center where that arrow is. Well, I guess we have to put in the diamond first. Oh, and it goes ahead and just gives us the achievement for unlocking the thing. But, uh, yeah, unlock the secret area in the museum. But you need the key in order to access the grates, because when you put in the key, there are grates on top of the levels, and the key gets rid of them. So, we have that out of the way. This is Garakusha 9, this has been Let's Play, um, Replay LEGO Indiana Jones, and in the next episode, we're going to start the first of the extra levels of the game. And... Since I'm gonna go on my little own or this time, and I'm gonna start with Young Indy. So, until then, guys, I will see you guys later.